I've got finished objects, I've got whips and I've got things I've been working on and this vlog covers the period of June to July 2022. Welcome to HD Designs Crochet, HGDC. I'm Heather, the designer of Granny Square Patterns for my tribe. I went from corporate lawyer being told what to do to full-time self-employed crochet designer doing what pleases my soul. Now I also champion Yarny creatives just like you to build income streams from your passion. Join me on my mission to change the world one crochet pattern at a time. Hey tribe, welcome to HDDC, HD Designs Crochet. I'm Heather, welcome to my channel. It's all about the granny square crochet, a little bit of knitting and my life. So I am 32 years old. I live in Leicester in the United Kingdom. I'm a mummy to a seven week old baby and also to my fur baby, Albie. He's a greyhound cross and I'm a wife and I'm many, 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 many other things in between, but we're here for the crochet. So let's dive in, shall we? Today's vlog is a typical sit down vlog that you'll be used to from the crochet and knitting world. I've got finished objects, I've got whips and I've got things I've been working on. And this vlog covers the period of June to July 2022. Normally I do the monthly, but I actually had Teddy, my little boy. I'm a mommy. I'm so excited. I had my little boy in June, so there was not a sit down vlog, but I have been crocheting. I just don't think I will ever stop making granny squares. If you watched my last vlog, which was the um, announcement vlog of my new arrival, my heartwarming new arrival, you will know that I've been working on crochet blankets. So let's do finished objects. First one is this blanket. It's called Arrival and I went into quite a bit of detail on it in previous vlogs. So as a quick overview, this is all double knit yarn. I've joined it using the continuous join as you go method and the yarn that is joined, the joining yarn is the Pound Shop double knit and it's in there cream or off white. All of the granny squares are three rounds if you include the joining round and the centers are using scrap double knit yarn it's all acrylic yarn i just dive in and i make all of these amazing different colored squares and then i've got my own border that i've created using scraps of the colors that are in the blanket and that's going to be a free pattern at some point when i get around to finishing writing it up for you and then I also made a second blanket for Teddy. This one is called Heart Warmer and I craved oranges whilst pregnant with Teddy. So I wanted to make something in all of the orange shades and I decided to make a heart out of granny squares. Again, 4.5 mil hook, double knit acrylic, joined in the same color yarn and all of the scraps are from various places within the UK. And that's going to be another free blanket at some point when I get around to it. And I also finished this one. Which is a four ply version of Heart Warmer. Now, the size difference is crazy when you think the same pattern but just different yarn i used a three and a half mil hook for this one i think um and this is drops sock yarn in that off-white and then this one i know the shade was like atomic strawberry but i don't have the yarn bands i don't know who the yarn dyer was it is all four ply this is all sock yarn i've had so much fun and enjoyment from making those granny squares um i just find them so so comforting and i always attach memories to what i'm making so i made arrival whilst i was 
waiting for Teddy to arrive and then I made heart warmer in his first couple of weeks as a newborn. So they both mean a huge, huge amount to me. I, I just, I just adore them. I really do adore them. Now, this is another finished object of sorts because within HDDC, I also have the HDDC hub, which is basically the sister branch of what I do. So I'm a crochet designer and I also teach others how to be a crochet designer as well. And I created this pattern planner whilst I was on maternity leave because I wanted something to track my own patterns to make sure that I wasn't overlooking anything until I could get the patterns released because I don't know about you, but I have a million and one ideas, a bazillion and one whips on the go but what i actually need is to get them finished and out there for you so i created my own planner it's called my pattern planner crochet and knitwear designs and the first page dear designer your potential is endless because it really is go do what you were created to do now within this there are six sections each section goes from a design idea all the way through to published pattern. And there's pages for every step of the way. So I have now started to use this planner and I wanted to show you um, so you could see what it's like. So I want to remake one of my patterns, which is called Revival. It's my best selling pattern without a doubt. It is a crochet granny square jumper or sweater if you're American. I filled out the my design page. I've got all the details of the name, whether it's knit or crochet, the hook size, the yarn I want to use, the notes. So I've put the updates that I want to make and then the mood board. I've actually put a picture of the front cover and then I've put like the changes that I want to make. So I really want to update the pattern. And then the next page, it's got all the information on the swatch, the grading information and the vision board. And I've printed off a load of images that just, that just vibe with me, you know, you know. Um, and then the next few pages are instructions. So I'm actually part way through making the sample. And then I'm just noting down anything that I need to include in the actual pattern so that it doesn't get overlooked or missed. And I wanted this planner for this exact reason because I, everything is all in one place so when i go to write this up all i need to do is grab this and it's all there i don't need to look for the random bits of paper and project bags because you know if if you've ever gotten around to designing or even just making your own patterns and uh, making your own patterns making your own clothing you might write something down so you remember it next time then you can't even find where you put it so i wanted to show you that because i have now started using this planner and then it's got a whole section on like writing up the pattern everything I need to include it's got a whole section on testers so that I can track who's testing and when I last heard from them and things like that the feedback that they give me and then it's got a plan for release so that is my pattern planner I'm so so pleased with this really really like it and I want to release it um, when I actually revealed this on a previous vlog, so many of you said that you needed this in your life. And like, I can confirm, you need this in your life. Since using it, there's been a couple of updates that I've decided I want to make to it. And I've actually been jotting them down on the back cover so that I know where they all are when I want to update it. Look at the cute smiley. Um, one of them being is rather than it being spiral bound, I think I'm going to get it bound like case bound so that you can put that in and out of a bag without it pulling because this is just going to get attached to yarn and your project isn't it like your needles your hook so i think i'm going to just have it hard bound because it's not that much that you're sticking in there so it's not going to need a load of space to really open up the one good side of it being spiral bound is it lies flat but I think hard bound is the way to go with that. That's okay. I'm going to fill this up and then I'll have a hard bound one as well. So I guess that segues me nicely into whips. One of them being I am remaking Revival. Where'd I put that?
one of the big changes is I wanted it to have more ease um I wanted it to have like a looser fit without you having to make as many granny squares so I've sized up the granny squares and they are now five rounds in total and I've picked out all of these colours and I really like them but I didn't actually like the layout I think what I want to do is move them about but now I've come back and looked at it again I like it so I made this for one of the panels and I've made most of the other granny squares to go with it to go with it for the second panel so front and back um and I need to weave in the ends I also did this I chose random colors my contact lens is really annoying me so ignore the he I've been up for a long long time and they are definitely dried out um I did the random colours and then decided that actually I wanted it to be a little bit more intentional and considered and so then I ended up pulling out these colours which are in effect the colours, the brand colours of HDDC. So you've got the two pinks, um, you've got a bright yellow, then there's turquoise and there's also orange but I chose not to put it in this, I went with purple. Um, Oh, I am tempted to put orange because then it really would be on brand. Because if you look at HDDC and the hub, their posts are all in these colours. And then I also went with some neutrals because I'm absolutely vibing off the neutrals at the moment. Um, but originally I did this panel. And I do really like this one as well. I just need to make a second panel because I'm going to make a um, longer version and a cropped version. And I decided to make solid granny squares on this one because I know some of you are not here for the ends on the colour change granny squares. So I wanted to show you the different lengths that you could do, the different combinations that you could go with. But ultimately, it's the same colour pattern. Colour pattern? Colour combination. Colour. What is the word I'm looking for? Ah! Come on, colour selection. Um, yeah, so there's like a lot of granny squares. I've made all of the granny squares for this panel. I just need to put the panel together. So I might do that this evening. I just can't decide if I like the ombre or if I wanted the for it to be just mixed up so that's why i put it down so i've made one panel another panel for another one i've made the four ply heart warmer panel i've made the double knit heart warmer and i've also made this um i think i might have started arrival in may but the rest of them, I've definitely worked on them all in June and July. And then I also made this one, which I don't think is going to get used, but it's okay because I also have this and this and this and this, and this and this one and this one which I don't think really is going to get used. They're just like samples or I just start them because I want to make something. So I think I'm just going to put this all together in a crazy, crazy blanket. Um, yeah, at some point, maybe for a while, but at some point that will all become a blanket. So that's pretty much my whips so far, other than this needs finishing and then i started this version as well <laughs> um what can i say i just can't get enough of the granny square i love making them i love how repetitive they are but i love that they're all different colors here's one of the ones i've made to go in my second panel yeah i just love it so much i love 
love love the granny square and i will happily make granny square blankets all day long and i love that all of the ones i've made i've got recipients there's two for my little boy and then two granny square blankets for um other babies one of them that was born the day after um teddy and then that little girl's cousin who was born six or seven months ago just love them and then the other whips that i've got going on are for the hub so they are more products that are to help me as a designer and so therefore you as a designer i've been working on um a lot of workbooks which are just filled with information that i wish i knew when i was starting out as a designer and that i know will really help you so i've been working on the finances one i've been working on one for beginners I've also been working on a like a diary um so it's for would you call it a diary or a planner I don't know I would call it a planner um it's like for the year so it's undated but it covers 12 months and it's got like goals so setting your goals breaking it down into achievable actionable steps it's got like your monthly reviews to make sure you're progressing in the right way it's got sections to put things about the whips that you're working on so it's really really designed for the crochet designer is and it also has elements of your life in it so like habit trackers like are you drinking enough water are you exercising enough are you committing to the goals and actually following them through that you said that you're going to do um what are your meals that you've planned for this week because like you need to be on top of your life so that you've got more crochet time so i've been working on that as well because it's something that i really really need especially now that i have a baby because my time is very very precious i need to be super super intentional with it and i have been ordering samples for other projects that i've been working on but I can't share it all with you now because one, it would take me ages. Two, you can't have all the good stuff right now. And three, I'm gonna save some stuff for next time. This bowl of yarn, that's our mixing bowl. That's what I use to put stuff on the scales. I started a little project for, with that. Um, this yarn. This yarn is actually caked up double at the moment, but it's pound shop yarn again, double knit acrylic in like this dusky rose pink. And I am on a real stash bust at the moment. Um, I've been saying it for a while that I just want to use up my stash and I, I'm really committed to that. I decided I was gonna stash bust and then I got really quite ill for about a year. And there has been yarn coming in, don't get me wrong, but it's been for my granny squares. I know that will get used up. But anything that's in like a large quantity like this, I've wanted to put into projects. So I'm actually making something with this. Um, it's another designer's pattern. I just wanted something that I could just follow and that I didn't need to figure out the maths and grade it all. I just wanted to dive in and do it. Um, and so, this project is purely for me because I do make a lot of stuff for other people, other babies, my baby, um, and remaking patterns and things. But I wanted something that was just purely for me. Here comes Albie. Hey, Albie. You come to see the vlog? Come say hello. <laughs> That's him saying you've got 10 minutes before we've had enough and we're going downstairs so let's get this finished i wanted a project maybe brad's home i wanted a project purely for me and that's what this is one of the things that i have been doing is i have been expressing my milk for teddy and again i'm not really going to go into the ins and outs fed is best whether you choose to do that via breast milk bottle formula whatever it is you do you boo i'm doing what's right for me and my family but i'm telling you that information so that you know that i spend about four hours of my day expressing milk and i was really starting to struggle with the nighttime expressing um and so now what i do is i pick up this project and whilst i'm expressing for those 20 minutes i work on this and it is 
something to look forward to because I'm watching it grow and it's just a way of taking a bit of time for me and turning something that was beginning to feel like a chore into something really enjoyable. So I've started that, but I'm not going to show you until I've got a lot more progress. One, so there's actually something for you to see and two, I'm just, I'm just gonna keep it to myself for now because I'm really, really enjoying it. So yeah, that was like a real quick run through of all of my finished objects and my whips. Um, I wanted to try and keep this vlog under 30 minutes. That's why I've gone really quite fast. And also you have seen some of it before in previous vlogs. So didn't want to bore you too much, but there's just so many good things on the go. Like my planners, all the different products, all the new patterns and just I'm feeling really, really happy and the happier I am, the more creative I am. And I think you can just see that we've got the expressive hands. I feel much more like me now. Um, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just happy. I'm just so, so happy. I'm so grateful. I'm also feeling quite run down and I have a mouthful of ulcers and I am super tired. And sometimes motherhood is hugely overwhelming hugely overwhelming even that's an understatement but i'm also so so happy and i now have a baby carrier we've got a couple so one of my tribe members very very kindly gifted us a carrier so that we could carry baby taylor i've got to stop saying that he has a name now so we can carry teddy when we go on walks when i take albie out and you can use that from four months onwards and we also got gifted a fabric wrap sling which you can use from newborn um but i didn't feel as comfortable with the fabric one we've used it a couple of times but i just felt like i needed to hold him the whole time i know i don't but it just wasn't quite right for me i definitely will try it again when he's a bit older and holding his own head up um because I think I'll be a lot more chill about it and it'll be nice to be able to just strap him to my back and get some housework done. But um, I also ordered another carrier that you can use from newborn, but it's like a bit more sturdy than just fabric. So that means that I can take him on walks now um, without needing the pram so I can go off-roading in the field with Albie and Teddy. Mm, I love it. Um, We've also been spending a lot of time in the garden. We've also been spending time at the seaside and there's just so many visits. Like everyone wants to see the new baby and yeah, there's just only so many hours in the day. Um, how am I finding motherhood for anyone that's interested? As I said, overwhelmingly magical. It's just a lot. And for anyone that is a new mum or about to be a mum, or is a mum, all mothers out there of all types, of all descriptions, you're amazing. And make sure you take a little bit of time for you so that you can refuel you. Take the time to make five or six granny squares and take the time to make sure you're drinking your water. And make sure that you are communicating what you need from your support system, so. Make sure that you say, I need or I want some time to record a vlog. Not, can I have time? Because, yeah, you can have the time. I need to do this for me, so let's make it happen. Because otherwise you'll become resentful and you will become... It's just not a nice place to be. You still have to meet your own needs so that you can meet the needs of your baby. Yeah. So... That was my quick sit down studio vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I'm gonna get you to comment on how many granny squares are in this pile. Oh. Because when I look at this and think I've done all of this in a couple of months. Wow. Okay tribe, that's me done. Take care, I'll see you in the next one.